A one, two, three, four. <laughs> So, welcome to back to Ginger's Barn here on a Friday night, and uh, you may well have noticed that I'm not alone anymore. I have another guy with me, one of the best guitar players I've ever worked with my whole life, and uh, one of my oldest road buddies. We started out this uh, pandemic together out in California. Reno, actually, to be specific, Reno, yep. Nevada, coming out of California, and our whole tour canceled right in front of us. And we made her home. We've been isolated for what, three months, <laughs> and uh, it's Born time me. to pick. So uh, we're real glad to have you here. And. Uh, First time we played together since the middle of March. Yep. Actually, the first of March, really. Played anything. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's good to be back doing something with somebody. And uh, just a quick note if you want to throw something in the ch in the tip jar for us, it's uh, paypal.me slash JP Cormier Music or uh, e transfers to JP Cormier 38 at gmail.com. And, and me and Bill are going to split the kitty tonight down the middle. So we appreciate your support. I'll tell you that right off the bat. You've been great to us so far during this weird Stephen King, whatever the hell this is. And, uh, but enough of that. We don't talk about that anymore. Uh, what do you got there, Billy? You got a little uh, Bob Dylan there for little, me? Little Bobby, yeah. Big giver. Well, there ain't no use sit and wonder why, babe. Don't matter anyhow. Well, there ain't no use sit and wonder why, babe. 
if you don't know by now. When you hear that rooster crowing at the crack of dawn, take a peek out your window and I'll be gone. Yeah. You're the reason I'm traveling on. Baby, don't think twice, it's all right. Long, lonesome road today Where I'm bound, you just can't tell If adios is just too good a word today I'll just bid thee fairly well Yeah I didn't mean to tell you that you've been unkind But you've been wasting all my valuable time <laughs> You're the reason I walk the line Baby, don't think twice, it's all right. <laughs> uh, I haven't oh done boy. That. I haven't done that in six months and nails. No. Yeah, you did. I mm -hmm. practiced. I did. I, I, that's the secret. Stop practicing. Stop practicing, yes. That more playing, more playing, no. Yes, that's yeah. right. Less practice. You'll notice, I don't know how many people on here have ever seen me and Bill live, but we... Uh, almost we, live. We, almost live. We kind of do a different kind of show when we're together. Uh, mainly based on uh, insane guitar playing and uh, uh, complete disregard for the audience's tastes. And... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Enjoy yourself, everybody. <laughs> yeah. If we had a tour bus, it would say, the hell with you. Yeah. <laughs> we're kidding. But, uh, yeah, we were, there were so many gigs we were supposed to play this year. Holy crap. I know. <coughs> we All had gone. the whole middle of America and the eastern seaboard of America. And then yeah. we were coming home and, and going to Scotland. And then we were, holy God, all that get lost. All go gone. Yes, Jeez. now it's just a sea of deep fried foods and alcohol and just <laughs> Netflix and yeah, I know it's, it's horrible. It is. Yeah. How you been? Uh, but, but you just pretty well nailed it there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, can't go over top of that one. No. We love... Uh, Merle Travis, me and Bill. And this is a great coal mining song he wrote way back in the 40s. And that uh, fit, fits real good with me as a Cape Bretoner. And you come from a long line of working people. I sure do. I'm Hard still to, doing it. That's right. It's too bad. I know it. Jesus. Well, this is a song he wrote about the coal mines in Kentucky. Hard work. About the same as the ones in Cape Breton, I would think. Spring Hill. Yes, yes, sir. Spring Hill, Pictou County. There you go. And it's all about a guy with a nine pound hammer. Little too heavy 
Honey for my size, Lord, Lord, honey for my size. Going on the mountain, gonna see my baby. And I ain't coming back, no, I ain't coming back. Roll on, buddy, don't you roll so slow. How can I roll, Lord, Lord, when the wheel won't go? Roll on, buddy, pull a load of coal. How can I pull when the wheels won't go? Silver sun and rings like gold. Roll on, buddy, don't you roll so slow. How can I roll, Lord, Lord, when the wheels won't go? Roll on, buddy, pull a load of coal. How can I pull, Lord, the wheels won't go? Get the sun, Billy. So slow. How can I roll, Lord, Lord, when the wheels don't go? Roll on, buddy, pull a load of coal. How can I roll when the wheels won't go? Give me a big old jar of corn liquor and a brand new John B. Stetson hat, son. Roll on, buddy, don't, don't you roll, roll so slow. How can I, I go? Oh, the wheels won't go. Roll on, buddy, pull a load of coal. How can I pull? The wheels won't go. Yes, sir. This is uh, 
much along the lines of the whole concert. Yeah. I guess we better slow things down, haven't we? Maybe it's a good yeah. idea. Could happen. Everybody okay? We got lots of people on there? Who's on there? 104 people. There you go. That's better than 100 and none. Uh, for sure. One more be 105. <laughs> Another one come pouring in. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Open the door. Cheers. We're all having a drink here, too. Just in case you... I hope, we hope you're having one as well. This is uh, supposed to be meant to be a uh, bit of a, a get-together. Oh, yeah. It is to us. Right. Let's see if I remember this one. Kill Gary's Glen. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, we stick this in there every once in a while on the road. We do. And uh, tell, is there any way for people to buy your record? Uh, money. Any, any good way? Money works. Money works? Okay, well, good. Yeah, I, got a, I got a thing here. I got a CD that's in that bag over there. It's got a little where you actually uh, contact me at. Oh, good. Information. You got to read that to know where you live? I, but yeah, I keep it with me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> just in case I forget. <laughs> no, it's actually in that bag there. You just open that bag and there's a little card in there that comes uh, with the CD. Okay. Yeah. Because we could mail order from you maybe or... Yeah. A lot of people are doing that now. Well, they, yeah, they always call me. Yeah. But he made a great, he made a fantastic Whoa. record. They get nominated for a Jazz Album of the Year at the ECMAs and something else too. Music Nova Scotia. Oh right, jazz. Yes. Jazz Recording of the Year for yeah. Music Nova Scotia as well. Yeah, we're pretty proud of that one. We are. That's a good album. We're working on the second one now. I hope we, maybe we'll have that out in time for the end of the pandemic. Well, yeah. Has anybody left to sell it to? Yeah, that's the other thing. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I finally got my back to the U.S. They Great. followed me all the way around the, the tour, though. Oh, that's right, too. They did, yeah. We, we, we shipped records ahead to avoid trying to carry CDs over the border, so the CDs basically went to every gig that went, we went to only about two days late. Two days behind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, never sold one. Never sold a God, no, no. nothing, no. no. Then they got here a month after I get home. Yeah. So they've been everywhere. Oh, yeah. Hank Snow records now. Yeah. <laughs> Twas a man from the island of Sky. Came to the harsh land of this glen With his hands and his heart and the sweat of his brow He made the land good again Through his children the seeds of the music were passed And the secrets of tilling the land And the ocean thereby held a kinship so deep Giving food up into their hands Then the folks in the cities have passed us by They don't know how they got there And don't care why But there's a place we recall all the hardships back then Down here in Gilgary's Glen Generations passed by him companies came and the younger men all moved away progress they said couldn't wait on the dead and they wound up in early graves soon the highways were finished and the trestles stood high as America took up the slack 
And there's many a scot down in old Boston town Wishing that he could only get back And the folks in the cities have passed us by They don't know how they got there And don't care why But there's a place we recall all the hardships back then Here in Gail Gary's Glen. Nowadays life is simpler, the land now is still. Now and then a few tourists drop by, and they're charmed by the fiddlers whose tunes tell the tale of that man from the island of Skye. And the folks in the cities have passed us. Spy. They don't know how they got there and don't care why. But there's a place we call all the hardships back then. Down here in Gilgary's Glen. Yes, if life came by twice, we'd all do it again. Here in Gil Gary's Glen. So let's see now. I'm gonna do. Uh, I want Bill to do some some more numbers off his record. I'm gonna play the mandolin for this one. And my mandolin's really loud, so I'm gonna set my mic back there. And, uh, where'd you first hear this song? Uh, Where'd you get this from? Jerry Reed. Yeah. That's where I first heard it. Well. It's an old blues tone I heard years ago, but I didn't even recognize it until I, they got singing the words, what the heck he was playing, but it was, it Wasn't was there super, a... what he was doing. Him and Chet. Who did this? I wonder who, I can't remember who did this originally. It, was like, it wasn't Billy Holiday. Might or, have been somebody like that. I think it was Billy yep. Holiday. Yep. Who was a, that was a sad case. Yes. For her life, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yep. we've been doing this, well, since... You brought it to the studio. Yeah, a couple of years. Uh, yeah, a good song. Dandy. So, yeah, you count her off. We'll do her several One, times. All right. One, two, three, four. are jumping and the cotton is high your daddy's rich and your mama's damn good looking so hush little baby hush little baby don't 
don't you cry Sweet George Brown and the Mando, too. Why not? Why the hell not? Why the hell not? It can't hurt. You start, what are you gonna, you gonna we start off or we, what? We weren't gonna, we weren't gonna do it on the Mando, but we weren't, but it's up to you. You don't have to do it, sir. Wanna do it on the guitar? You want to? Yeah. All right. It's nice to have a choice. It is. I don't know how many hundred years I've been playing this tune, I'll tell you. This yeah, was, me this too. Was, this was this was this one's been in the repertoire for probably eighty percent of my life, I think. I played it in the sixties with Dad. Played it all the time. But we played it G, I think. I think it was written in F, though. So. Yeah. Just say it's old. Old, yeah. It's really old. A lot of age on it. It was a, it was a, va it was a vaudeville tune, I think, originally. It helps if you, t if you plug your guitar in when you're trying to do stuff. There, there's a point. I've always noticed that. Tuning gives people the time to go to the kitchen for a beer. Suppose so. Okay. All right. Ready? Yeah. Here we go.
She's JP, uh, sorry, paypal.me slash JP Cormier Music or uh, e transfer to JP Cormier 38 at gmail.com. And me and Billy split the tab tonight. So, uh, which is good because you basically you haven't Thank been doing you. too damn much. No, I know. I'll tell you. I almost forgot how to get here. Bill, <laughs> Bill, Bill's normal gig is that he teaches people how to drive semi trucks. So, uh, not, not much a of that happened. Not a whole lot of that going on. Not a whole lot of that, no. And, uh, geez, this tune's got me on the mandolin again, too, I just realized. But that's good. We like the mandolin. We love the mandolin. Oh. Where'd you find this one, Bill? Found this from, uh, Tommy Emanuel. <coughs> yes, sir. Called the Tall Fiddler. My that, father was a fiddler, it, is a fiddler. Yeah, I was just going to say, Carl, Carl's not a short man. No, he's 6'1". Yeah. And his soft feet. He was a... Uh, he's, he's, still, he's still at it, isn't he? Yeah, yeah he's kind of hunched over a little bit. He's 90, he'll be 92 this year. 92 years old. Yeah. I remember being around him at the fiddle contest when I was a little kid. And uh, what a magic player. Yeah. And he had the, old, he had the five string fiddle. He did. At my place right now. Is that? Yep. Yeah. He taught me how to play uh, Glenda's Reel. Oh, did he? With that fiddle. He was playing that oh, fiddle yeah. that night. It was in B flat, that tune. Yeah. That's a good yeah. Great tune, yeah. It's my sister. Glenda. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So a lot of great tunes come out of your house that were all named for your kids and grandkids. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Rota G and. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There was some wicked. Not, about, a... not about me, though. Probably not. No. I never got mine. No, no. It's all right. I'll write you one. I'll write my own. I, yeah. <laughs> And we'll write one together. Yeah, we'll write one together and call it Billy's Reel. There you go. Billy Johnny. Billy, Billy, the Billy Johnny, Johnny Reel. Reel. <laughs> so the tall fiddler. This is a good one. Get it is. Get it. Thank you. 
<laughs> well, that was fun. Oh, man. Jeez, it's hot enough here in here to make the devil sigh. It could be. <laughs> we don't we don't turn the air much on in here oh, during the show. It blows right on the mics. So I think I'll take this off, maybe. Yeah, we might have to do that. Might have just partially disrobed. <laughs> partially. <laughs> Not for the word there, folks. Partially disrobed. Hey, you know what? No. So what? the tall fiddler, why don't we play the fiddle? Why don't we? How about that? Yeah. Take them out. Everybody having a good time? Are, are people saying things and doing stuff? Yes. Are they telling us they don't they get off the stage or what? No. Okay. Well, if you're coming out of a jacket, so am I. Well, I had to. I can't make it. Yeah. They're wondering about your sheep. That is, uh, that's Happy, the Shetland sheep. He's been with me since the very first time I went to Shetland 25 years ago. 26 years ago. And uh, I bought him. I bought him at the ferry terminal. And uh, he's been with me ever since in, inside every studio I've ever owned. I keep him because someone in the studio has to look amazed at all times, and usually it's nobody but the him. <laughs> so he's, he's, that's what he does. So he's here for the live shows too, right? Good. Just moral support. Oh, we need it. We need it. Well, I need it for sure. Well, this is something we don't do often. We don't normally do this, no? Yes, sir. Might as well live it up. Yep. Want that one? Yeah, sure. Don't have to, don't have to get too close no. to that one.
Oh, oh my god, that's yep. wicked. First time. That's the first time we ever did that. I mean, yeah. we've played the fiddles before. Not like this. But not in front of people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's good. That's crazy. Whew. You can get that's some That's a good one. That's a good one. I remember one, there was one year, there's probably people out there watching that remember this. We were at Kemp Shore. And that afternoon we oh. we played fiddles. We actually only had one fiddle. Mm. So we had like a fiddle pulling under the tent at Bill's trailer there one afternoon. And I we played for five hours or six hours. At least. In the hot sun. And we were uh, we don't I don't we never played the same tune twice. No. I'd play a tune and pass the fiddle, fiddle to Bill, and Bill would be like, remember this one? And I'd be like, remember that one? And it was five or six hours. Yeah, we had a big crowd there. Yeah, there was a big crowd there by the end of it. I think uh, Ron from Newfoundland was there. Ron Hines was there. Yeah, he was right. There. Yeah. Was, that the, the whiskey, the, was that the year of the black cherry? <laughs> that was the cherry, yeah. Oh, my God. Somebody gave us that. Oh, Jesus, that was funny. i got to tell that story. Go ahead. Was it so, Sharon or somebody? It was one of those people. Sharon or somebody gave it. Um, so we're sitting out in front of, in front of this trailer. <laughs> they had trailers for all the artists. And uh, so we were relaxing in, in between sets during the day there. had these lawn chairs and an awning out and all that stuff and this lady came by and gave us each a handful of black cherries like fresh ones with the stem still on and I wasn't really watching Bill that close Ron was under the tent with us yep he was under the awning Ron Hines was under the awning with us and I looked over at Bill and Bill put this cherry in his mouth and then as soon as he started chewing it, he started coming, trying to come up out of the chair and he flew and he spit the pit and it went about 10 feet across the driveway and he goes, holy Jesus, that's supposed to be in there. <laughs> Ron spit beer all over the place. Oh, right? oh my what God, I almost died laughing. Yeah. Jesus, that's supposed to be in that's there. That's supposed to be in there. <laughs> that's still one of the best stories I ever, I ever saw. That was a great story. That was a great, that was a great moment. That was. But you gotta laugh, right? Cry. Might as well laugh as cry. That's right. What I say. So let's see. We're gonna do another swing number. Just because we can. Um. I always have trouble with this intro. Bill's taught it to me 72 times. And yet I still, I miss it every time. Ready? Oh yeah.
We were going to do that. We should do Jerusalem Ridge. That's yep. a dandy. We haven't played very much bluegrass. Let's tune up here. Yes, good idea. I bet there's, there's some bluegrass pickers out there watching and getting real mad at us because we haven't done a lot of grass. Any requests or cursing or? I wonder what guitar Bill's playing. That's a good question. Me and Bill are both playing, obviously. <laughs> Shouldn't say that. I've been seeing us with, seeing us with him enough, though. Uh, we're both playing Boucher's. This is a this is Yogi. This is the triple lot rosewood uh, Adirondack top, rosewood back and sides. This is one of my favorite guitars that I've ever owned in my entire life. And my, my signature model is based on this guitar. Mm -hmm. Except my signature model has a cutaway and it's a bit it's a wee bit fancier. And that guitar there, that is a monstrous instrument. Tell them how you got that. Well, it came into my hands in California when I was out there. Yeah, at the NAM show. At the NAM show, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Guillaume. Thank you, Guillaume. Robin. Beautiful guitar. Yeah, I love that one. You've got Bill has a bunch of them. That's four number of four of them. I got four of these, yeah. Four, yeah. But that's, I think this that's is my favorite. This one. Yeah. Yeah. Bring me something. But your dreadnought that you, oh, the, yeah, the, the CCGP. One. Oh, that one. Yeah, yeah that one. one. We did on the album. That guitar sounds incredible. Oh, boy. But it does so. But this is for, a, this is really handy, this one. Oh, yeah. A lot of things. Small, light, got the cutaway. You can go way up there if you feel you need to. Yeah. And, and Great, uh, we are we are plugged in, but only a little bit, just to, so we can hear ourselves. It's the studio so kind of dead. So there's not a lot of you can't really hear a lot of room so we had this we have the amps on just a little tiny bit and uh but other than that you're basically hearing the guitars kind of acoustically right through these amps so yeah they're 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 monsters they are I appreciate robin and so much for building these i use them i use mine all the time but uh yeah we should play some grass well sure we can do, do that little jerusalem ridge bill monroe and, uh, Double check this here. New strings. Ready, Billy? Yeah. yeah.
<laughs> yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. Sweet. How many people we got now? 146. They're just mm-hmm. hanging right in there. They're hanging. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Lots of requests. So, yep, we, we're oh. getting down near the end of her now. So, uh, what, what, what are some of the requests? I got a request for banjo. Ooh, we didn't have, we don't have it set up, whoever that is, I'm sorry. We, did, we, we thought about it, actually, but... Uh, Beaumont Rag. Oh, yeah, well, okay. we're gonna do that. Oh, we'll do that. We'll then. do that anyway, don't we? Yeah. The end. So, yeah, let's get that done. Another morning. Um, ooh. So, do another song that's closely related to uh, the Nine Pound Hammer. The story of John Henry, who was the man who, uh, who wielded that hammer. The legend about him, that uh, the great legend, is actually, it's, I think it's based in truth. When they were building the railway across the United States, they started bringing in steam hammers. Yeah. And uh, this actually kind of fits in pretty good with what's going on in the world right now. Mm-hmm. When we f- forget about what the black community did for all of us in North America, but the the black man was one of the main workers on the railway. They they built the railways, and in Canada the Chinese came and built the railways. It was always people from away, and uh, so there was a very famous black steel driver named John Henry Brown, and he uh, they brought in a steam drill that they said could lay track faster than him and, and put more spikes down yeah. faster than him with a hammer. And they were going through a mountain tunnel and he beat the machine in a race. They set up a race, it was att- attended by a large audience of people and this machine was set up to, to ride the tracks as it laid them. Mm. And he beat it out of the mountain with just a hammer and, and laid more track and put more spikes in than the machine could. Imagine. And they put. They apparently, the great the, the great part of the story is he he beat the machine. They had they they get it pumped up so fast trying to beat him, but it exploded. That's really and they and they forgot about that. They're like, never mind. We'll just figure it out the steam steam drill later because yeah, there's nothing that works like a man. No, right? Hard, hard to replace. And uh, yeah, a man can't. A machine can't beat a man. And uh, such a great deal of heart in that story. And then there's even a story that after he, he actually died beating the machine. He died soon after and his wife took up the hammer after he passed on. It's a great story, like there's so much legend behind this one guy and there's pro- so many songs written about him. And uh, this is one of them. And I don't sh- oh, you know who wrote this song? No, not sure. I'm pretty sure this was written by Mel Tillis. Really? Yes. He wrote a lot of songs. I found this out by accident. Could be. From no, listening we'll, we'll, to we'll a, Mel. Yeah, from listening to a Doc Watson live concert. Yep. That I just bought recently on Apple Music, and he was introducing this song, and he said Mel Tillis wrote it. Could be. And I couldn't believe it. So, even a modern writer, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Old stories about John Henry and and uh, you know Roll On Buddy and all those other songs. Uh, they're old. They came from yep. way back when he was living. And uh, here's, a, here's a modern take, I guess. Because Mel Tillis would have probably written this in the, likely in the 50s or 60s, 60s right? Because yeah. Doc recorded it in the 60s. So. Yeah. But I've always loved this tune. I 
met my mammy and pappy Just about the age of ten Well, I got me a job Working on the railroad To turn water for the hard-working men Walk on, boy Walk on, boy Walk on down the road There ain't nobody in this whole wide world That's gonna help you carry me over Thanks, Mel. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I never knew yeah. that. I yeah, heard, I heard Doc say that, and went, well, that doesn't that doesn't surprise me actually. Yeah, yeah, really. He Mel tell us, songs. Whoa, my God, did he ever yep. he wrote some killer songs? So we're gonna do one more for you, and I just want to thank you, and I want to thank a big thank you to Bill for Thanks, coming Jamie. out here. This is the first time we've been together. Three months. Done anything in yep. three months, and. Uh, We'll do it again. The rust is showing, but what the hell? What the hell, yes. And uh, if there's anybody watching from Scotland, we're very glad you're here with us tonight. Because this was the show we intended to do for the Shetland Folk Festival. It was. And Bill just, well, the laws changed and he just couldn't come here anymore legally. So it was really, this has been really weird. It's yeah, been yeah. a strange, strange time. And, uh, but. We made it through, we're doing okay, we're going to be okay, and uh, uh, thank you for being here with us on a Friday night, I'm sure you might have had other things to do, like, you know, watch paint dry, or wash uh, the car, watch, uh, wash the car, or the dog, or, you know, eat a large pizza all by yourself. I, <laughs> since, since, I, since I've been locked down, I've been really into fitness myself. Fitness uh, whole pizza in my mouth. Yeah, yeah so, and I'm in the fitness uh, protection plan. Yeah, he's in the fitness <laughs> protection plan. Yeah, he's protected from fitness by we went from witness to by, fitness. Yeah, by eating. <laughs> so uh, no, we we love you and we hope you're doing okay. And again, the, if you want to hit the tip jar for us, we appreciate everything you send us. It's been keeping us alive all this whole time, 
And so I want everybody who's already given money to us, I want to tell you how much we appreciate it. Because we wouldn't be surviving without you. And uh, so, yeah, if you want to send us a little dollar or two, uh, paypal.me slash jpcormier music, or by e-transfer to jpcormier38 at gmail.com. And tonight's proceeds we're going to split with Bill. We're going to do a 50-50 on this one. See what well, we can do to send this man home with a little money because he's been hurting. And as everybody is, so, yeah, it's great. Great we're able to do this. This is really cool. It is, yeah. And you'll be back, right? Oh, we'll be back. If we can't go yeah. back playing live, you're going to come back. We up. Yeah, we're going to do this again we some, our way. next month for sure, somewhere. Yeah. Anyhow, somebody asked for Beaumont Ray. We did a little set of tunes that we've been playing closing shows with for 10 years. 10 years, yeah. And uh, it's got the Beaumont Ray in it, so we'll play that for you right now. And we thank you very much and stay safe and be good to each other. And uh, most of all, be good to each other. Especially now. Especially now. Are you ready? Yeah. Two, three, four.
<laughs> Good night. We'll Thank see you. you soon. Thank you.